The department was established uh, through uh, Ms. Karen Fisser, who basically designed the program. Um, and she set it up, I think, 13 years ago. So it's been around for quite some time. It's a 13 year old um, program, so Transport Economics and Logistics Management. So it's relatively new for the province but it has been a problem set for years. Transportation issues have existed since human beings started walking. Logistics itself emerged from war. <laughs> How do you consolidate all of the resources and pull it together to execute a particular consignment? But then in the transportation economics space, that emerged from the regional economics research where the traditional assumption was that, hey, let's not include transportation costs. Let's just keep transportation costs constant. But then when they started to introduce transportation costs or transportation dynamics in regional economics, then they had to create a specialized environment. So my area of expertise goes right from the industrial side of transportation. So what, what, how do we manufacture transportation devices, tools, technologies, all the way up to what kind of transportation services do people prefer? How do they influence their values? And then how do people eat? What do they like to eat? How does it get to them? We haven't produced, created and evolved enough transport economists and, logisti and logisticians, I think, in the South African context in general. And it's not just about that unitary specialization, it's about the extent to which the candidates that have been in the market have a multitude of, of applications. Most of them get absorbed into traditional agencies. But what we're seeing is that because South Africa is changing and Africa is evolving as well, what you pick up is that the, the skill set demand is changing and it requires a very new type of transport economist, very new type, type of logistician. It's not new to the institution because the curriculum is already built for that, but it's new to the industry. That's the first side, that's the first big challenge. The second big challenge is our regulatory design. So how do we, how do we design our policies? Where are they coming from? Uh, is the local community involved in this policy making process? Take us seriously. We're not engineers. We're like we, we're not in the engineering space. We're transportation economists, and what our functional role is is to formulate a new brand of regulatory infrastructure in order to make the market more fair and more equitable and distribute welfare effectively and efficiently. When there's a service delivery protest. People are not protesting service delivery, they're protesting against access. That's, that's the problem. And access is a logistics issue. If books are not coming into schools on time, that's a logistics issue, right? If we don't have access to affordable housing, that has a lot to do with how much money we have in our pocket. And transportation is a cost for the average person's pocket. So take us seriously, you know, that's really my advice. <laughs> yeah, that's my advice.